All right. Good evening, Kova kids and Kova families. <laughs> I'm here with my Kova kid, Hannah, and her book. kitty corn book, book that she's reading while she's here with me in the podcast room, the Kova Tennis podcast room. Um, so I wanted to send a quick message. I've been talking to some of your parents over the past day because we're all crazy about how fun and awesome yesterday was. Um, so I just wanted to share a couple of thoughts with you guys um, since I can't see all 30 of you guys and girls um, before and after all the matches. So I just want to get on here where we're all a family and share some thoughts and encouragements and some advice for you guys. So the first thing is great job to all of you. Uh, thank you to all of you kids and all of you, <laughs> the family members for an amazing experience for me as a coach yesterday and I hope for you all as families. Um, you, you kids look so amazing out there. You look beautiful in your COVID shirts for those that were in there wearing them. And for those that were not, it's okay. You were beautiful anyways. Um, you guys were very impressive for me as a coach out there. You guys were all happy and fun kids. Um, I didn't get to see all of you, but from what your parents, parents told me, you all had a good time. And that's the most important thing for me. Remember for almost all of you, the first thing I told you, my number one rule was for you guys to have fun. And I hope you guys had that. Um, also, I want to go over some things that just for moving forward to make sure that we're all doing the right thing for our, our, us as a group. Um, and the first thing is being sportsmanship. I'm sure you guys all know what that means, but for me, it's one of the most important things uh, for me as a person, as a coach, and things that I want to teach you kids as tennis players and just as people going forward in life, right? This is a sport, but life is a real thing. So tennis hopefully will teach you guys how to be better people. Uh, better friends and better family members. So first thing, sportsmanship. Um, I want you guys to make sure that since we're representing COVID tennis as a team, um, I want, you, want to make sure that you guys are being good sportsmen and sports ladies and making sure that you're complimenting your teammates when they do well and also consoling them when they don't, when they don't do so well. So if someone hits a good shot, you say good shot. Someone has, makes a good attempt at running for a ball or swinging at the ball correctly, you say good try. And if someone makes a mistake, you say it's okay because we move on for the next shot. Just like when you make a mistake at your homework or at anything at home, you say sorry or you say it's okay, and then you move on for the next one and, and you believe in yourself, okay? Um, also, being a good sportsman is also making sure that you don't over-celebrate. None of you guys did, but I heard that there were some of our opponents that did that, and that's not, the, not, that, not, that's not what I want us to look like when we're on the court or off the court before the match. So make sure you don't over-celebrate. It's always good to be happy, of course. You celebrate, and then you move on, move on to the next shot. Um, you don't trash talk to your opponents or to your teammates. Um, and you don't gloat, as in you don't, you know, throw a good shot into someone's face, you know, because everyone has feelings, and uh, we're there to have fun and to play well, right? Um, and if your opponent is not being a good sportsman or a sports lady, don't pay attention to it, all right? You guys are all strong, beautiful little kids. Um, you have great families, and... Worry about yourself and worry about what you're doing and whatever they're doing is what they do over there, right? We, us, me as a coach and your parents, we believe in um, making sure that you're good people above anything. All right. Again, this is not anything that I saw from our team. We just want to make sure that we understand that going forward. Um, the second thing is being the best communicators that we can be, right? I, I always like this at our lessons, make sure that we're talking to each other, um, supporting each other. Um, so for example, since we're a team, I want us all to make sure that we're cheering on our teammates and also cheering on our, our, on our opponents if we see they're not uh, feeling good out there. So communicate with either you're on or off the court. So if you're on the court, make sure you're looking at your partner saying, good job. I want to see our kids start making uh, doing racket taps. So like at the end of every lesson, when we transfer between lessons, I always make sure you guys racket tap. Racket tap. So when you're playing in a match, after every point, I want to see you try to racket tap and say good job. Or you can do an air tap like this right now, air tap. Or Hannah. That. <laughs> okay, so that makes sure that we are all having fun and communicating, right? We're not just out there on an island because tennis is a very lonely sport sometimes and we are a team, a very big team, so make sure you're communicating. Um, and if you're not playing on the court, so when there's, there's times where we're rotating off and someone's taking a break, I don't want you guys to be out there on the side goofing around, you know, making a disturbance. I want you to be out there focusing on your teammates, supporting them and cheering for them and also, you know, saying good job or good try out there. Um, since we're also a team and I'm trying to teach you guys stuff so that you can be sufficient on your own, make sure that when you're on the side or on the court, make sure you're helping your teammates with the rules and making sure that they know where, where they're supposed to be. Um, try to help them with their swings when you can and communicating because you guys are all going to hopefully be teachers 
or some kind of great person that can teach other people, a great person, great leader that can teach and lead other people when you get older. Okay, so do your best to talk to your teammates. Um, also share advice that you might have from each other that you remember from classes. Or if you are sitting on the side and I talk to you and say, hey, Hannah, go tell Raina to do better with her pocket and backpack and chicken nugget moving forward. I expect Hannah to go run over to Raina and say, Raina, do better with your pocket, backpack, and chicken nugget going from the side to the front. <laughs> okay? So share the advice. And last, I am your coach. I am your friend. You guys can trust me with anything, whether it's a problem at school with math or if it's a problem with you on the tennis court. Right? So if you have a question when you're not playing or on a, on a changeover, I'm allowed to talk to you guys and girls, so feel free to ask me any question that you have. Okay? I'm there to help you to make it the best uh, experience that you can have when you're out there. And last, related to communication, be as vocal as possible. So be as confident in yourself as you can. Don't be afraid to call out lines, call out the score very loudly and proudly. And also if someone or some buddies are not following the rules in terms of maybe, for example, there's a double bounce or if someone hit the ball twice or if someone is talking during your point, don't be afraid to talk out and say, hey, that's against the rules. I think we need to play that over or talk to the person that's running the court and uh, try to resolve it that way. Okay. And last thing. I want you to make sure no matter what happens, you're having fun, right? I said this at the beginning, I'm gonna say at the end. Have fun, believe in yourselves. Don't be afraid of what I or your parents or your opponents or anybody else there out there thinks about how you are or are not playing. You guys are all good enough for me. You guys are all been trying your hardest. You've all been spending so much time. You've been having a lot of fun on the court, right? This is just a game, but it's gonna teach you a lot of lessons. So if you're not having fun in this game, you're not gonna have fun in life, okay? Believe in yourself, try your hardest, and that's the most we can ask for. Um, for me as a parent and as a coach, the best thing I can see when I look out into the court is you guys having fun, playing with each other as friends, making new friends, whether it's on the team or their opponents, and also being the best person you can be, right? Because when you grow up, tennis may or may not be in your life, but you know what, your life will move on and you'll learn a lot of stuff from tennis, okay? So that's it. Um, you guys have a great week. If you have any questions, don't forget to, you can always text or chat me through your parents or here on the Facebook page or whatever. Um, and hopefully I see you guys, most of you during the week at lessons. Um, otherwise, I'll see you on Sunday. All right, guys. I love you so much. It's time for Hannah to read me a book. The Kitty Corn. Say bye. <laughs> Rain is reading a book. Aluga. Aluga. Bye.